Hello. The name's Croft. Thomas Croft. And welcome to my kingdom. I'm the man at the epicenter of news. No news happens without me knowing about it, seeing it, talking it, talking to someone about it, or looking at it. I break the news, daily, hourly, by the minute, and every second. Go again? I bring you breaking news. Better? You can edit the daily thing in. My heroes? Gosh. Well, I stand on the shoulders of the giants of news like Sir Trevor MacDonald, the wonderful Hugh Edwards, and the one who has my heart, Bruce. Heavens above you, imbecile. Not Forsyth, I'm talking about the goddess of news. Good Lord, my mouth's drying at simply mentioning her name. Calm oneself. <coughs> Fiona Bruce. I beg your pardon? I got here through good old hard work, integrity, and being better than everyone else who interviewed. It was fortuitous that my father shares club membership with the interview panel. I'm not a celebrity. I don't make the news. I report it. I break it down and give it to the public in the manner they expect. If that happens to be in the pages of Vanity Fair or Vogue, then so be it. I love culture. I love art. I'm a man of letters. Today was brought to you by the letter F. <laughs> I'm joking. I do love art, though. Own a few masterpieces, and I dabble myself. The sense of responsibility and importance of what I do never leaves me. I feel the cold hand of history on my shoulder before I go to sleep. Oh, please. What book is on my bedside table? Anything written about the English Civil War, American post-war history, and jazz masters. I've got big bedside tables. Tonight I'll probably be swinging the racket on the squash court and sinking a few Croft Ales at the Duke of Wellington. I'm Thomas Croft, and this is Zoobox TV News.